Being someone who enjoys adventure, puzzle games, and dark themes, I've been very interested in checking out Count Lucanor, and now that it's come to the PS4, now I finally have my chance. But is this one game that you can actually count on, or is this Count Lucanor more like Count Lukewarm? <laughs> Count Lucanor is a relatively short, dark-themed adventure puzzle game that is very much like a dark fairy tale. In the game, you're taking the role of Hans. He's a poor child who thinks he knows how everything works in the world at the age of 10. He ends up being picked up and taken to this castle, where he is now set to prove himself for the great Count Lucanor, who is looking to find an heir to his vast fortune. In order to prove yourself, this kobold who brought you to this location, you have to figure out his name. To do this, you know that his name is eight letters long, and by exploring the castle and solving puzzles in rooms, you'll find letters, and the letters correspond, of course, to his name. The castle you're going to be exploring is pretty big with a lot of rooms that you'll be going into. You start off with only one colored key, there's four of total that you'll be finding throughout the castle. You'll be going into these rooms, and each room has a different style of puzzle. It could be involving switches, it could be involving pushing boxes, sometimes getting away from enemies or other types of traps that are set up in them. The game's nature in general is very much inspired by the likes of Silent Hill, and the puzzle solving is very much like the stuff you would see in a Legend of Zelda game, though you're not combating any of the monsters. Though speaking of the monsters, they have some pretty gruesome designs. You're able to kind of run and escape from them, hiding in locations and try to get around them so you can continue your hunt to find the letters and solve the eventual puzzle. Controls are pretty simple and work pretty well for the most part, though I ran into this stuttering issue going in between different areas or rooms or sometimes when interacting with objects. When I was still holding down the direction, my character just came to a stop and I would have to let go of the button fully and press it again in order to get him to keep walking. Along with the main quest that's going on, there's also NPCs that you can interact with, some of which will help you with the whole kind of main thing, as well as some have side quests that you'll also be able to complete. There's a variety of different items you'll find scattered throughout areas that you'll need to use in later rooms, or being able to help out the game's NPCs. The game can be a bit brutal at times, with some of its traps being difficult to kind of navigate around and not end up taking damage. If you die, you will get set back quite a bit sometimes during the course of it. Overall though, once you get the hang of things, start to learn the layout of the castle and solve the puzzles, the game isn't particularly long, taking roughly 3-5 to five hours probably on your first playthrough, though with the multiple endings, it's worth playing through the game again. From the technical side of things, like I mentioned earlier, the whole stuttering issue was a bit of a pain. Uh, but other than that, the game didn't crash on me or any other major glitches ended up rearing their ugly head. Count Lucanor is available now on the PS4 for $14.99 and it does have a platinum trophy. It's also available on the Xbox One, Nintendo Switch, and PC. Overall, I enjoy my time with Count Lucanor. I like the dark themes, the gruesome imagery, there's some great moments throughout the game. It doesn't rely on jump scares or anything for its horror, but it definitely has a creepy atmosphere to it. If you think you can enjoy the darker tone of everything and are looking for a new fun puzzle game that won't be overly challenging, but at least provide a few hours of enjoyment, this may be the game for you. With everything said, I'm going to be giving Count Lucanor a 7 out of 10. But anyway guys, it's going to wrap up this review. I'd like to thank you for watching, and of course I hope you enjoyed.